Kids' allergies, peanuts and tree nuts, create a safer learning environment. Welcome. You're about to discover some ways to prevent, recognize, and respond to peanut and tree nut exposures in school. Exposures to these common foods can trigger a life-threatening condition known as anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a serious allergic reaction that is rapid in onset and may cause one or more of the following symptoms. Hives, itching, flushed or pale skin, a feeling of impending doom, hoarseness, difficulty breathing, lip, tongue, or throat swelling, airway constriction, wheezing, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, a weak and rapid pulse, dizziness, fainting, loss of consciousness, and even death. Food allergies and associated anaphylaxis are on the rise. Prevalence of peanut and tree nut allergies alone has tripled between 1997 and 2008. Many anaphylactic reactions occur at school, sometimes to students whose allergies were unknown at the time of the reaction. In fact, our own otherwise incident-free daughter has had peanut-triggered anaphylaxis three times within just 11 months at school. We know from experience the steps you take to prevent, recognize, and respond to exposures and anaphylaxis could be life-saving. So let's get started on our discussion about how to create a safer learning environment for students with peanut and tree nut allergies. You may already be aware that peanuts and tree nuts are two of the top eight food allergens along with milk, eggs, wheat, soy, fish, and shellfish. In general, allergies to milk, egg, wheat, and soy resolve in childhood, whereas allergies to peanuts, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish are lifelong. So what exactly are peanuts and tree nuts, and what's the difference between them? Peanuts are legumes and they grow in the ground. Tree nuts, like these, grow on trees. Tree nuts are commonly processed and thereby cross-contaminated with peanuts. The cause of peanut and tree nut allergies is unknown. Currently, the only treatment is strict avoidance of the allergens, early recognition of symptoms, and proper management of allergic reactions. Until there's a cure for food allergies, students of all ages need your help and vigilance to stay safe. As a rule of thumb, remember that students must not smell, touch, taste, or eat peanuts and tree nuts if they're allergic to them. But we realize they can't live in a bubble. This is why many children with peanut and tree nut allergies learn early on to advocate for their own safety. Yet, despite their best efforts, it's a challenge for them to stay safe in school with so many kids, contaminants, shared surfaces, and supplies. As a result, exposures to these potent food allergens happen in school more often than other public places. Seem far-fetched? Consider that even the most minute traces of peanut or tree nut can trigger anaphylaxis. Impossible to see with a naked eye, peanut and tree nut proteins can spread like a virus onto surfaces, pencils, dispensers, floors, keyboards, and more. So strive to keep shoe soles, hands, surfaces, and other areas free of peanut and tree nut proteins. Enforce peanut and tree nut free classrooms. This includes activities before, during, and after school. Establish a fail-safe system to ensure all subs, staff members, and volunteers are pre-trained and aware of students' peanut and tree nut allergies before entrusting children in their care. Always read package labels. Foods, as well as science and art materials, should not contain peanuts or tree nuts or be made on equipment that processes peanuts or tree nuts. Beware of cross-contamination in foods as well as on utensils, wind instruments, masks, and other supplies. 
Also note that hand sanitizer doesn't kill peanut or tree nut proteins, so encourage washing with soap and water before and after eating and at other times during the day. Discontinue preparing and serving peanuts and tree nuts in the school kitchen to avoid cross-contamination. Make menu ingredient lists available at school and online. Create peanut and tree nut free desks and cafeteria tables. Always wash surfaces, edges, and seats with dedicated cleaning equipment, warm soapy water, and spray. Ensure anaphylactic students have access to their life-saving medication at all times in class, at recess, and on field trips and buses. Develop two-way communication systems on and away from school grounds to rapidly respond to exposures and call 911. Learn how and when to administer epinephrine. Anaphylactic students can't always do it themselves. Review students' food allergy action plans. Depending on symptoms, they may need epinephrine, a call to 911, and their prescribed antihistamine and inhaler doses. To administer epinephrine, refer to your training and the medication label for instructions. Remember, students may require their medications when one or more of these anaphylactic symptoms are present. Escort and observe anaphylactic students at all times when they exhibit symptoms. Seemingly mild reactions can progress within seconds. Ensure all adults who care for students are trained on how to prevent, recognize, and respond to peanut and tree nut exposures and anaphylaxis, including teachers and subs, health workers, food service workers, administrators, paras, aides, and support staff, volunteers and chaperones, custodians, drivers, coaches, and others. Be mindful. Foods containing peanuts or tree nuts as a primary ingredient can easily spread contaminants throughout the school. To reduce risk, remove peanut and tree nut containing items from vending machines and don't serve or share such items at student and faculty potlucks, field trips, and other events. Create, post, and enforce your food allergy management policy. On a regular basis, communicate it to everyone so you'll remain transparent and consistent district-wide. Allergic or not, peanut and tree nut allergies affect us all. Remember, we're on the same team. So strive to create a culture of awareness, understanding, and compassion among students, families, and staff. Never joke with, tease, or bully food allergic students or their teachers and caregivers about food allergies. After all, food allergic students are protected under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Federal laws give them rights to safe schools. By making these potentially life-saving adjustments, all students can feel and stay safer in school. Disclaimer. The materials and other information provided by this presentation are for educational, communication, and information purposes only and are not intended to replace or constitute medical advice or treatments. For more information, visit www.nutsafeschools.org.